Okay, I am so excited to be able to share with you guys why I believe it is the decade of destiny. I believe prophetically everything that the Bible talked about, everything Jesus prophesied is about ready to all culminate. It's accelerating and it's coming together. Are you ready for it? I'm trying to find a remnant. I'm trying to find somebody that will sound an alarm and understand that a Holy Ghost invasion is taking place. Man your battle stations. Ready your spiritual weapons. Lock and load. Let a revolution begin. Let it begin with a shout unto him that is not only called us to war, but who has empowered us by his spirit to win. So real briefly, I want to share with you how World War I and then World War II set us up for this decade of destiny. World War I was really about Israel. Uh, it was in 1917 that General Allenby, uh, representing as a general for the, the British Army, went into Jerusalem in 1917 and liberated the city of Jerusalem, liberated them from the Ottoman Turkish Empire. The Ottoman Turkish Empire had been controlling the, the area of Israel for 400 years, all the way back to 1517. And that's a very prophetic number, 400 years. So literally 400 years later, General Allenby liberated Israel from the Ottoman Turkish Muslim Empire. So that set and paved the way for the next big event, the next nation against nation, kingdom against kingdom, which was World War II. Obviously we know about the Germans and the Nazis and fighting the allies. But the end of that war literally revealed, as we saw, the Holocaust was in there and Hitler wanted to destroy every Jew on the face of the earth. And literally at the end of 1945, the end of World War II, within three years in 1948, three is a very significant number in the Bible, who would have ever dreamed that May 14th, 1948, the nation, the ancient nation of Israel was reborn. So World War I frees Israel from the Ottoman Turkish Empire. World War II and the Holocaust sets the stage for the rebirth of Israel on May 14, 1948. So all of that sets the stage then for now that Israel has become a nation again, God promised that they would come together as a nation in 1967. I leave you with this. There was what we call the Six Day War. And in six days, Israel captured the Golan Heights to the north, the West Bank, they captured the Gaza Strip, and most importantly, they recaptured East Jerusalem. I don't know if you know this, but 100% of all the holy sites in Israel are only in half of Jerusalem, East Jerusalem, which was under the control of the Jordanians until 1967. Literally within six days, the whole world was pounding the table at the UN to tell Israel, stop, stop, stop. You're going too fast and too far. So Israel said, okay. And now they had recaptured Jerusalem, control of the Temple Mount. That brings us to where we are today. And I believe that there are some historic things that are literally right on the horizon in the very imminent future that are game changers. These are things that for thousands of years, the prophets talked about that are coming. And the next thing I wanna share with you is about the coming historic peace deal in Israel, between Israel and their neighbors, and how it relates to Jerusalem. So God bless you, keep watching. This is the Decade of Destiny.